Good morning, Aries. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your tour over here today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Aries, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take it resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, if you do find that you're resonating with any of these messages, you're welcome to hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to let me know that you're resonating and enjoy my content and that you want to see more. All right, so Aries, 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 Aries. We'll be using the Rider right Weight deck the after tarot deck and the energy card deck all right so if you would like a personal reading since this is just going to be a general reading you can message me on twitter or instagram the links will be down in the description box below but just know before you message me i do charge for personal readings so just keep that in mind but either way aries let's get things started Let's get this monthly reading started for the month of October. Alright? So, Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What do we got for Aries for the month of October? Alright, so Aries, at the bottom of the deck, we have your overall energy, which is, which is going to be the Two of Swords, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Five of Cups in the Upright. So, I feel like in the month of October, you're going to be making decisions, but you're not going to be wanting to make decisions, all right? Because maybe making a decision is going to be very stressful for you, and you're just not wanting to deal with the stress, and you're just wanting to live, you know, a stress-free life, all right? But making a decision is going to put a lot of stress on you, so that's why you're not wanting to make that decision, all right? Now, this could also mean that in the past you've been having trouble sleeping and then in the month of october you're going to be able to sleep like a baby every night all right you do have the five of cups here as well for your overall energy so that tells me that you may be doing some reflecting uh, upon the past and you're just like why did i let this happen why did i do this you know this is all my fault blah blah, blah. you're you know you're blaming yourself but at the same time you're looking back at the past and you're wishing things were different but at the same time you can't change the past you can only focus on the present and try to you know make your future a lot better all right because you're still focused on you know these cups that spilled rather than focusing on what you still have all right so let's see let's see let's see you have the two of cups here so there could be some romantic offers coming to you in the month of october uh you do have the not you have the nine of swords and the six of swords here both in reverse so that tells me that you're going to be dropping baggage so if the, something has been holding you back let's say you've been holding on to these repressed emotions with the five of cups being here um, you're going to be dropping it. You're going to be releasing that so that way you can no longer worry about that and you can finally live your life the way that you want to live it. All right. It does seem like you're kind of scared to move forward in some way, shape, or form because you're just not sure on if it's going to burden you or, or not. You already have nine wands here. You don't want another wand to burden you and then you're just stuck with a huge burden so you want something that's going to allow you to move forward in a better way and not really burden yourself all right you don't want to take on too much too much in the month of october um but it does seem like with the six of cups being here and you have two sixes and two nines so if you get one more and you also have two twos as well so you have a lot of synchronicities here but it like I said, the magic number is three. So if you get three of you know the same card or the same number, um, it's usually a synchronicity, and you should look that up. Um, but either way, uh, you have six of cups here. All right. And when I look at this six of cups, I feel like someone's going to be helping you out in a very good way. You may get a promotion, or you know someone's just going to be handing you a gift of some sort. I don't feel like you're going to be giving your assistance out to people you may you know because messages can be vice versa but just so you know i feel like this is you getting a gift from somebody else all right i feel like someone sees that you've been dealing with a lot and they're going to give you something to really help you out all right so that way you're less stressed out and you're not juggling as much all right you're you're making a decision to 
no longer juggle with this si situation, whether that's a romantic partner or just some like a bunch of jobs, maybe you're working two jobs, either way, you're going to be able to do everything without, you know, skipping a beat, right? You do have the Queen of Swords here as well, so it does seem like someone's a bit shy to approach you, or maybe um, in the past you were a bit cutthroat and you didn't really want to talk to them, so maybe um, they're just they're trying to figure out how to approach you, and this could be your romantic partner because maybe in the maybe you guys do have a past of some sort, and they're wanting to you know forgive you of in a way. Um, or just like try to talk to you try to get to know you a little bit better now but at the same time you don't really know what to do right or they don't know what to do you don't know if you should cut this person off it if you should you know move forward but at the same time you know you need to make a decision all right um, and you're tired of juggling two jobs or two relationships and it's time to choose one but at the same time you don't want to you know, make a mistake and, you know, burden yourself, right? So you got to choose wisely. Do you want to choose the karmic or do you want to choose someone that's actually a two of cups? You know, someone that's willing to, you know, be by your side. You know, this could be a friendship as well. You know, the two of cups isn't really that serious, but it is serious enough to call it some sort of relationship that's happening. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now, people also say the Two of Cups is your Twin Flame card. Okay, so this is after. This is the after tarot. And from what I can tell, you have the Five of Cups reversed. Now, earlier, you had the Five of Cups in the upright. So with the Five of Cups being in reverse, that tells me that you are going to be getting over whatever it is that you were thinking about in the past, and you're going to be moving forward in a way that's going to really benefit you. And you're no longer going to be looking out for anyone else. And people are going to start looking out for you. They're going to start helping you out. Um, but changes are going to be happening, especially with your finances. So if you've been really, if you've been really focusing on your finances, I feel like um, you know there's going to be this change with your finances where you're going to be able to start affording things a lot better, and you're not going to have to really worry about much. All right. Uh, you do have the Page of Pentacles here, so you may be rejecting an offer that wasn't really serving you much wealth, um, and it was just putting more stress on you than actually giving you wealth. So you're just like, you know what, I'm going to drop that situation, I'm going to do what's best for me, and really focus on myself, because you know that it's just not worth you know, doing a Page of Pentacles job when I could be doing a Knight of Pentacles job, or a King of Pentacles job, or a job that is a Page of Pentacles, but in the upright, that's actually going to bring positiv positivity in my life, right? It's going to make me more positive. It's going to make me a positive person, right? So there's plenty of ways that you can read that. Either way, you have the Tower card here, so there's definitely a lot of changes happening for you. You have the Empress card in reverse. So that tells me that for a while you weren't really focusing on yourself and that kind of makes sense with the five of cups being in the upright and then later a being in reverse um so you're, you're going to start focusing on yourself you need to learn self-worth in order to really move forward um but i feel like in the month of october is going to be that month where you finally break free from any codependent relationships and you're going to start being more independent you're going to be able to start affording things and being available to not only other people but to yourself all right and that is very important but you do have the tower card here which tells me that there's going to be some sort of like breakthrough like something's just gonna happen where like everything falls apart but it's okay because it's for a good cause right because it may seem like what is going on why is everything happening in this way or why is it being so chaotic it's happening for a reason don't stress about it because it's okay. All right. This may have to do with a job, like I was saying before. Uh, maybe you get fired from a job that you didn't really want to work at, but it was just something that you had to do in order to pay your bills. Um, but I do see a, a change in your finances coming very soon. Um, 
so just be careful of that. And then we're going to pull one more card, the Ace of Cups. All right, so I did say, because you do have the Two of Cups here, that there could be a romantic partner or just some sort of, you know, connection. That, and it does seem like it's going to be very passionate or you're going to go towards something very passionate or this tower card is going to awaken something and allow you to uh, go towards your passion. It's going to, you know, break you off this bad path and it's going to move you towards something that's going to be very passionate, that's going to help you thrive in life and help you really move forward, all right? So, for that being said, let's move on to your chakra cards. And for the signs that I see, I see Gemini, Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Libra, and Aquarius, all right? So, for that being said, let's see what the energy is looking like in the month of October. What's the energy looking like for the month of October for Aries? What's the energy looking like for Aries? Self-mastery. So you're definitely going to be focusing on yourself, which is really good. You're going to be mastering skills. Anything that you've been lacking in in the past, you're going to be able to really move forward and do what is best for you. Uh, you do have family here, so maybe you're going to start focusing on your family, or maybe you're going to start moving towards your goals to have a family so maybe if you're not in a relationship yet you're going to go towards something that is going to help your family in the future um, like if you're investing into buying a house or you know just starting getting those little steps to you know get somewhere where you want to be right um, now it could be that family is going to be really helping you out during this time it's going to really you know move you forward uh, there could be a lot of chaos with family, maybe um, just because the tower card is right behind the family card. So that's why I say there's a bit of chaos, but it's going to be okay. Um, but just know that there's going to be a lot happening in your family life. So whether it's your mom, your dad, your cousin, your uncle, uh, there's going to be some chaos there. Um, but just know that you're going to be okay, that your family is going to be okay and that you're going to be doing am some amazing things very soon and you just got to keep moving forward you know you can't be worrying about um you know the guy on the street when you know you you could be on the street the next day you know you got to start focusing on yourself all right so aries that's going to be your monthly reading i hope you also have your sacral chakra here and your root chakra here i just wanted to say that just to let you guys know but either way that's going to be your monthly reading i hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it namaste i'll see you guys next time peace and if you'd like to follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be down in the description box below if you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel you can hit that channel button and it takes you a whole bunch of videos on my channel other than that i'll see you guys next time peace